Okay, so it's not option number three. That's just bullshit. Um, I think. I hear you, officer. What kind of a sum are we talking about here? One million. Okay, now let's be reasonable. How about ten? Sounds like a fair deal all around. No way. Corruption. It's just like bus or seagull. A kid watching out of a window describing things going by. He doesn't like it too much, but what do you do? Wow, that fucking worked. Yes. Me? I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Uh, we'll work better together if you have more report. Uh, come on. Ah, if you insist. What do you want to know? You don't look like other people around here. Tell me, secret. <laughs> uh, That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. What is Seoul? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. That's because you are not making it interesting. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. You know, it would be a lot cooler if I could just see a map of the world. And I could imagine some of the stuff. Uh, oh well. See? That's exactly what I said. You're only making it sound uninteresting. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular Pebashulia. Okay. A point of pride to him. You're wearing glasses. That's correct. That makes him a Bino class. <laughs> Completely uncotton material, if you say so yourself. Are they? They are mostly just cumbersome. <laughs> you could use a good, normal here yourself. Oi. My side is 2020. My hindsight is at least. Uh... What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have conversation with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. What? Think? I do most of my work inside my notebook. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. That's where his conversations with himself take place. Okay. We all have our different mediums. His is written. You're super lucid, yet psychedelic. You don't need office supplies to connect to your nervous system. You're special. Ooh, I'm special. No. Your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. Something the matter, detective? What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. Aww. The lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow, and you seem to regain control of yourself. 
Good. Let's change the subject. Okay. So far, so boring guy. Jeez. Um. Okay, what's next? The backyard wall, maybe? Cargo container door. I think the backyard wall is closer. This? I don't think so. Just the oh, it is. Wall. Okay. Nothing to see here. You have no Aww. clue. It's just a wall. So many walls all over Montanese. Weather wall. Cracked. They're paint peeling. This door is still locked. This must be it. The basement door is weather worn. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air, and there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. The royal lion, Guillaume's kitten. This knocker will last a lifetime and then some. Wait. What's this about again? I don't remember who this is all. Is this the. Oh, it's the. Oh right. Okay, 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 okay. So this so this is the door. The leather upholstery is worn and rough against your jaw. You don't hear any movement. In fact, it's oddly silent in the yard around you. No birds chirp. You knock silently. The upholstery muffles the sound. No response comes from the apartment. I wonder if I open the door I with the key. No one is in. So, um, if I open the door with the key, just go through the the apartment, and I leave. Maybe I, I can unlock the door. That is a possible possibility. I don't know. Let's be honest. This isn't what I joined the RCM for, but every day tells you something new about yourself. Apparently, working with the local union boss to get info on an investigation is not something I'm squeamish about. Got it. The lieutenant merely nods in response. Okay. You try to be as silent as you can. It takes a bit of rattling of the handle to loosen the bolt. Finally, the door unlocks with a small clack. Thoughts race through your head. Good job. Let's go now. I'm sure there's nothing interesting in there. I'm sure there is. There might be important information in the apartment. I mean, there might. As you hold the open door, you can feel the air moving. A little draft. A whistle. A whistle. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go inside. Oh, there's money. Yoink. Oh, wait, it's not money. A suitcase full of clothes. Guests are staying over. I don't think it's guests. A book titled The Hidden World of Walking Sticks. Oh. The red sun. Oh. A row 
of mugs sits on the shelf. Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potatoes and others. A little ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. There's something disdainful in the way the curves and lines of the bodies were drawn. The images betray a lack of interest in human beings. They are merely unflattering caricatures. Oh, okay. The owner of these mugs doesn't like people of other ethnicities very much. Ah. Oh. Huh. Good to know. Anytime the lieutenant picks up one of the mugs, then puts it back down with a look of disdain. I'm beginning to feel better about breaking into this man's apartment. Wait. Yeah. Yes, your broken mug friend would feel very much at home here. The same humor, the same mocking lines. Huh, there's the missing tin soldier. Whoever lives here might have used the wording's container to dump his trash. Boom. And now they've drawn the ire of the Union. The plot thickens, as they say. Oh, yes, they do. An interesting little clue. Let's see where this goes. Clues have a way of magically connecting to other clues down the road. Gotta love that. Perhaps you should break into apartments more often. <laughs> I know, I don't think so. Who knows? I'm not expecting too much from this closing the trash lead either way. It might turn out to be some random local matter, but still, a nice coincidence. There are no coincidences. You could ask Everard who this person is once you're done here. Yes. This is the flag of Revachol, the suzerainty. What's with the sun? This isn't just one sun, but there are little suns dancing around the big sun. This is the sevenfold sun miracle. The sevenfold sun miracle. It's an optical atmospheric anomaly the first settlers saw. Happens in cold weather. Six small suns around the big one. This complex halo phenomena is how old Revachol got its flag. Mm-hmm. The tenant is an old-fashioned guy. Huh. By old-fashioned, he means very right wing. Yeah, don't bother. The flag doesn't back. seem to mind. It's just a colorful fabric with yeah. sun sewn onto it. Like all feudal flags, it looks like a children's drawing. Feudal flags. Fantasy heroes with big muscles. Okay. Ooh, shirt. Plus one logic. Interesting. Interesting. A row of mugs. Okay, so that's the only one that is repeatable. Let's go. Nothing to see here anymore. I guess I cannot lock it anymore. Okay, the door is unlocked, but I really want to know who, who this person is. What shirt do I have now? Plus one conceptualist conceptualization and minus one suggestion. This one has plus one logic. Interisolary dress shirt and this is white satin shirt. Huh. Okay. Now we can move on. Return to Everard. I hate that guy, but we have to play nice with with someone. Let's go. While I'm there, I could maybe try to check 
with the container door as well. You may never know if it opens on its own accord or not. vacuuming their car it's maybe something I should do as well but who has the time for that right For two if days. Anything, it seems to have grown slightly. Why are you even trying to open the door with rhetoric? Because what wasn't an option? Using my body over my wits. Now is not the time to get philosophical, detective. You can do that after hours. <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing I, I get an an extra bonus when I'm in this world for more days. That would be cool. Alright, let's talk to this asshole again. Mr. Dubois, every worker? Uh. A member of the board. That's right, Mr. Dubois. I see the socialist democratic fervor now burns in your heart, too. How can I help you today? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm just. I opened the door, you ask me. Can we discuss the murder now? I don't know what that means, Harry, but I love it. <laughs> I love your initiative. Knowing you're out there keeping things running lets me focus on the big picture stuff. Don't even tell me what was going on. Alcoholic brew, stronger, stopped it, strike. I'm just gonna let you surprise me, Harry. <laughs> I opened the door. I'm very glad to hear that, Harry. One question. Nice, I love. You luck. didn't actually happen to stumble in and see what's inside the apartment, did you? He's trying to figure out if you're lying. Huh. Hmm. Exactly the kind of fascist memorabilia I was expecting. Weasel probably prays to it every night for the downfall of the Union. <laughs> he was testing you, and you succeeded. Nice. Now let's get down to brass tacks. It's time for men like me and you to figure out who's killed who and why. Real police work is going to start happening now. I promise you, Harry, this is going to be good. Great. Coming from you. Nice. Okay, this is very, a very flimsy connection, so I might start with this. 
Fine. By now, I'm sure you've figured out who the dead man was working for. The bad guy. Wild Pines. Sent to scare us. Another violent measure of the top hats against us flat caps. Sure. Harry, this strike is the culmination of many, many mistakes made by the Wild Pines group. They tried to shut the strike down by sending in armed mercenaries. Uh -huh. You mean our victim? A security contractor? Can you imagine that? Workers standing in peaceful protest, united in the spirit of fellowship, and they send hired killers to mow us down with machine gun fire. Machine gun fire? I didn't find any machine guns. I'm talking beasts. Hardened killers from proxy wars in Yisut, Seminine, Saramaritsa. You name it, they've done it. Raping, killing, burning villages, killing little children for the Senorita Pineapple Company, Harry. Everything they did there, they brought over here. They want to turn Revachol into a third world slum. Honestly, the only thing they didn't do is kill the village elephant. What's the kill village elephant? No, Harry, the elephant is metaphorical and so is the village, but the mercs and their brutality are very real. Go on. Now, I haven't personally witnessed the brutalities out there. I have the luxury of staying in my container, you see. If I need to go somewhere, they just move my container. Huh. They move the container? Yes. I'm an old man, Harry. My legs aren't what they used to be. They lift my office with that big crane. It's actually very fun. You should try it. I mean... That's pretty... Practical. Wow. But enough about me and my fun container. The killers the company hired, I think there were three of them, all hardened commando type. One of them got downright suicidal, getting drunk, violent, a little rapey. Even their own negotiator couldn't control him. That's your boy, the one who likes hanging out <laughs> and trees. Uh, gotta love that joke. By negotiator, you mean Joyce? Harry? What you need to realize is, we dock workers are not pushovers. We got grit, Harry. This whole neighborhood does. Push us hard enough and we push back. And when we do, we push to kill. An entire neighborhood of killers. Potentially, Harry, potentially. We got arm wrestling champions, rowing club people, ex-coal miners, tough guys, all ready to spring into action for their home base. There's a militant wing inside the Union, a group of people whose duties don't involve manual labor, but peacekeeping in the neighborhood, making sure everything runs smoothly. That sounds a bit like organized crime. I know. They're like you guys. Idealistic people who want to make sure bad things don't happen. And if they already have, well, punishment must follow. Of course, of course. Again, that sounds like organized crime. Yeah, popping their kneecaps, making them sleep with the fishes and all that. So these idealists killed our victim? Hmm. One day Titus Hardy, leader of this peacekeeping faction, comes up to me and says, Boss, socialist democratic fervor drove us to take it upon ourselves to kill this beast that was burdening the land. Okay. He probably worded it differently, but that was the idea. Sure sounded to me like they killed him. <laughs> I gave them two weeks paid leave and told them to lay low to avoid retaliation. Aren't you worried we might arrest them for this? Oh, I'm not at all worried about that. These are not the kind of men who get arrested. They're Martin A's boys, tough and gritty. I'd like to see the man who takes them in. Besides, I sent my lawyer girl to look after them. Okay. If he's just boasting, then it sure doesn't feel like that to you. He's not worried. He places a lot of faith in that lawyer girl. Perhaps this is a tactical error. Anyway. Uh... There was a correction. Okay, yeah, maybe now we can... Racist mugs in the trash and in the apartment? You guys are just light years ahead of me. 
that. I have so much confidence in the ability of your organization. I'm relieved you're doing this and leaving me to do what I do best, helping people with the power of politics. The power of politics. Yes, yes. Do you think this wizard is somehow connected to the murder? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't cross paths like that. All I want is for you to succeed in your investigation. I would never complicate things for you. Oddly, it seems to be true. That this weasel might have cleaned up after the killers. Believe me, Harry, he's a nobody. Just your basement variety nobody. Can't imagine him being connected to a high caliber case like this. But he does live nearby. Maybe it's a pedantic weasel. Fascists are known to be neat freaks. I feel like a real detective right now, Harry. Am I getting this right? Uh, there's more work, more to police work than a working and an imaginary battle. <laughs> Say nothing. Of course, Harry. Stoic silence. I like that. Very befitting a police officer. I'm not a real detective. You are. Okay. How do I know? Let me tell you about these people. That's their M.O. It's what they do. Oh, do go on. Last winter, some poor workers in Terminal E went on a little strike. The company sent in Sediment, a security contractor. The strike was over the workers' right to wear protective footwear, Harry. What? These guys turn up and start beating people. Tell you what, Harry, I wouldn't be surprised if we got the same mercenary company after a little rebranding. And I'm sure as hell not surprised to see an army of scabs under my gates. So you believe the scabs were organized by the security contractor? You said it. Hell, one of those guys looks big enough to take down that proverbial elephant. Boys like that don't just happen to show up during strikes. That's true. That does sound quite unlikely. Yes, the big guy leading the scabs at the gate is Colossal. He's not scared of them. If anything, he likes them being there. Strange. Strange. Oh, Liz is a bright one. I paid for that law degree myself, thinking it'll probably turn her all fancy. But hell, Harry, she came back a firebrand socialist. Sometimes she scares me with her zeal. Huh, <laughs> okay. Oh, they are simply fine young men. All seven of them. Exemplary union members. Seven. Always working to advance their position in the local socialist democratic movement. Core members. Old Theo used to run them, but things really kicked into gear when Titus took the reins and named the group after himself. <laughs> Gotta love his initiative. Interesting. Who's second in command? They're almost all of them great guys, born leaders. Whatever happened, I'm sure they only had the best interests of Martinez and Revachol in mind. Work with them. Hell, interview them. But don't fight them. They really are just like you. Men who like beer, women, and some order on the streets. Separate one from the herd. Uh. Oh, that would definitely be Fat Angus. His feet smell from a city block away, and he's Hello. always having noisy stomach troubles. Horrible, revolting guy. Okay. You would die, Harry. You would die and in the process start a bloody and completely unnecessary war between the Debardes Union and the Citizens Militia. Angus, his ever-growling stomach and his smelly feet are all part of the Union. You have as much right to arrest him as I have to arrest your partner here. Actually, less, because this is my hometown, my territory and my backyard. You are a guest here, Harry. Please remember that. <laughs> oh, Harry. This is getting real grim, and there's no need for that. We are friends. But of course, it's the least I can do for my good friend Harry. I'll do it right after we've concluded this talk. You can now go and tell Titus about this. 
See what he has to say. Okay, also, nice. Also, Harry, here's five real. Oh. <sighs> I'm not taking money from that guy. Oh, I wasn't offering it to you, just holding it out there. But I'm willing to share information. Was there anything else? Was it a good talk? I'm not sure we made much headway here. I was hoping we'd bust the case wide open. Heck, I even wanted to tell you what I really want to achieve with the strike. I don't know what happened, Harry. I wanted you to feel like Mr. Martin Ames. And of course, I also want you to find your gun. But it's like I can't completely trust you. Yet. Yet? Yes, Harry. It's like I can't fully trust you if you're not a man of the left. I want to, but I just can't. Okay, well... A man of the left. So you have to be a social democrat. He's been hurt too much in the past by men who aren't social democrats. You're right, not to trust me. That's not the right answer. I guess I could lie, but then again. You're saying it, but I don't believe you. You know how it is, company snitches, agent provocateurs everywhere. I'm barricaded in this fortress of mine, and I need to get a message out. Will you help me? Sure. And what would it entail? Once again, I require nothing unethical or illegal of you. You just need to get two little signatures on this piece of paper, and then mail it to my accountant in La Delta. What are the signatures for? I'm glad you asked, Harry. The Union is going to build a modern youth center in Martin Ames. It will be righteous. We're gonna get those teenagers off drugs and on roller skates. Nice, righteous indeed. Like in the 90s and 80s. There's a nameless little street on the coast with some old houses around it. Most people have already signed. I just need two more signatures to get this mission off the ground, Harry. Where is this place exactly? On the coast, Harry. Across the canal. There's a cul-de-sac there. A little village, they're calling it. A gloomy place. You'll find it. I trust your detective skills. Ah, uh, I cannot cross the canal yet. Water drips from the eaves. A woman looks at her freshly tarred skiff. There's a pair of cavalry boots under the fish in the box, and the wind howls like a vicious spirit. They are just gonna have to deal with the construction noise for six months, and then they'll be living like kings. Right next to a fancy new youth center designed by the best architect from Stella Marie. Is he absolutely sure the tenants won't be thrown out in the street? Am I? Harry, these people, Martin A's is the most important thing in my life. I would never let anything bad happen to them. We're gonna build a youth center there. The value of their properties goes up and kids have a place to play in. I'm looking out for these people, not pulling the rug from under them, Harry. I'm looking out for all of Martin A's, not just the harbor. He means it. It depends. I don't think what we just got from Mr. Clare was very useful. But, he thinks, it's your call. As I said, yeah. it weighs on me heavily. But once we get really talking, well, I'm gonna hand you the keys to Martin Ames, and maybe even help you figure out who's behind this killing. Okay. He's saying as little as possible, as vaguely as he can. Yeah. Deliberately omitting things. That's... That's quite annoying, but sure, I will take the task. You bring joy to my heart, Harry. Such a pleasure to be working with you. Here. You need to get signatures from Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. The cul-de-sac is right past the pawn shop and across the canal. I hear there is some trouble with the water lock, but they should fix it by Wednesday morning. Yes, I know. Once you have the signatures, mail this to 13022 La Roca in the Delta. Then I'll know you're a solid socialist. Sure, whatever. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna stop the stream here. I think uh, we got a pretty good playthrough or pretty, a pretty good session right now. So yeah, uh, it was fun. Uh, let's save the game real quick. There we go. And uh, yeah, I hope I'll be able to stream on Friday again. Um, and you can expect the, the VOD as soon as possible. So see you on Friday, right? See you later. Bye bye.